Hello guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how you can create this scene from Johnny Harris's video USA vs China The War You Can't See. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. As you can see here, the map shows the US and China side by side. Finding a map like this online is hard, and even when you do, it is not accurate. So the best way to do this is with GeoLayers in After Effects. Once your GeoLayers is open, go to New Projects. I will name the project US vs China. Leave the size at 1920 by 1080 pixels, frame at 25 fps, and set the duration to 20 seconds, then click on Next. For the map type, let's pick Advance and then reposition the map between the US and China, zoom in or out to align it to your preferred position. To stylize the map, I took a screenshot of the video and uploaded it to this website, imagecolorpicker.com, so I can identify the exact colors Johnny Harrison used in the video. Simply drop the color picker on the area you want and copy the color code, then do the same for the land. Next click on Create and the map composition will be created. The next thing to do is to remove the country label. To remove the country labels, go into the map composition and turn off the shy switch. Scroll down to find the country names and remove them if you want. The next thing we are going to do is to add a border around each country. To do this, go to the search bar in GeoLayers and type China. On the first result, click on Download button to add it to the browser. To draw China's border, go up to the layer style and select the baseline. If you select this one here, it will draw a fill all over the map. But what we need is a stroke around the border. So you can select any one of the strokes here. I will be using the baseline and will also change the color under the edit style. And for the color of the stroke, I have also used the website to identify the colors Johnny used. Once you have picked out your color, go over to the pen tool here, click on it, and select Draw Feature. I will also do the same thing for the United States. To remove the stroke from Alaska and Hawaii, click on the drop-down. Under content, you can delete all of the shapes here, leaving only the first one. The next thing we're going to do is to draw the path going from the US to China. So click on your pen. Turn off the fill, set the stroke color to white, and the stroke width to 4 pixels. To draw the path, Click and drag to create this bezier handle, so we are able to create a nice curved path. Repeat this for all four lines. Make sure all the lines start and end in the spot, and adjust each line curve after drawing the paths. The next thing we are going to do is add a gradient ramp to each of the stroke lines. Go to the Effects and Preset tab and search for Gradient Ramp and drag it onto Shape 1 in the Effects Controls tab. Select the Start of Ramp Target and drop the target just after the line. And also the End of Ramp Target and drop it just before the end of the line like this. Next, set the color of the start color to the color of the US border stroke. And the end color to China's border stroke color. Then, copy the gradient ramp effects to all of the strokes. Now our stroke line looks cool. After that, the next thing is to add the little animated balls going from the US to China. So click and hold down on the shape layer and select the ellipse tool. Turn on the fill and turn off the stroke. 
Now hold down the shift bottom so you can draw a well-rounded and equal shape. Renaming it to Circle 1. After that, go the Shape 1, click on the drop down, go down to Content, Shape 1, Path 1, and then Path. Now click on the path and copy it. Then go back to the Circle 1 and press P on your keyboard to bring up the position. Then paste the path you just copied in the position. And now the circle should follow the path of the stroke. Why is ball not animating along the stroke properly? This is very small issue. To solve this issue, simply click on the dropdown, click on the content dropdown, click on the ellipse one dropdown, and click on the transformed ellipse one, and make the position zero. Now the circle is properly aligned to the stroke. Next, we have to make the circle continue to loop around the stroke. To do this, we will add a little expression. Go to the position parameter, hold down the Alt key, and click on the stopwatch to open the expression panel. Now type this expression, loop out, and open and close parentheses. And now the circle is looping through the stroke continuously. Highlight both keyframes and press F9 bottom to make the keyframe easy ease. Next, duplicate the circle and do the same thing for the rest of the circle. And when pasting the new path, make sure you remove the old keyframes. And finally, our scene is complete, but it seems to be missing something. We forgot to add the glow effect. You can use the glow that comes bundled with After Effects. But for this video, I will be using the deep glow effects from aescript.com. So, add the glow effect to all the shapes and play around with the settings till you are satisfied with the result. And that is how you edit like Johnny Harris. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful.